Hey YouTube, back again with another video showcasing Tesla's new path prediction, part of the software that was built into the autopilot system. And we learned about this on the autonomy day. That was a really long video, about three and a half hours, but it showed a lot of great info. What we're gonna be focusing on today is the path prediction. So the car is actually able to see around turns that it can't physically see, predicting the curves of the road just like human drivers do. So if you didn't watch my last video or you're unfamiliar with the autopilot system, whenever you see this blue steering wheel or these two blue lines, that lets you know that the car is in autopilot and driving itself. Whenever this car is in autopilot, my hand is always on the steering wheel and I always keep tension on the steering wheel. So if the car starts to turn in a direction that I don't want it to turn in, the autopilot's gonna disengage and I take over immediately. The first part of this video is gonna be cutups of the most severe curves and if you wanna see the full unedited drive, that's gonna be at the end of the video. All right, well, let's jump right into it. This autopilot disengagement at the crest of a hill used to happen all the time with older software versions. This is the first time I've seen it, testing it on these backcountry roads. As you can see, this hill crest is pretty severe here, but not the most severe that we're gonna see in this video. I was really surprised to see autopilot struggle there. These first couple curves are really smooth and easy for the autopilot to manage. These curves here are almost identical to the curves that were shown in the path prediction video. Really smooth on this right turn here too. Take a look at this hill crest though. This hill crest is about the same as we saw before and notice that autopilot doesn't disengage here, able to navigate that hill crest perfectly. And again, we have another hill crest here that is about the same as the first one, and the autopilot system is able to pass through this flawlessly. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a theory on why it disengaged at that first hill crest. All right, a pretty severe right turn coming up here. You're gonna notice this curve if you saw my last video. So I had to take over there because autopilot was actually going into the other lane. And like I said previously, anytime autopilot starts to drift out of the path of travel that I expect the car to go, because my hand's on the steering wheel, autopilot's going to disengage immediately once the car moves out of the path of travel that I expect. Another difficult left turn coming up here, and now, like I've said previously, this is difficult for human drivers as well. So it did disengage there, but that could have been because of how tightly I'm holding the steering wheel, ensuring that it goes on the path of travel I expect. So several more turns coming up here, a right turn and then goes into a left turn. No real issues at all. And I feel like because the road is flat, autopilot's able to perform a little bit better on these curves and it doesn't have to deal with elevation changes. So a couple more hill crests coming up here, definitely not as severe as that first one where autopilot disengaged, but still challenging and the autopilot is able to do a great job. Not sure why it disengaged at that first hill crest, even though some of these are just as challenging. If you saw my last video, I tested the same stretch of road, but in the reverse direction. I've already had more disengagements than I had last time with the autopilot system traveling in this direction versus the other direction. A pretty decent right turn coming here with the hill crest, and the autopilot is able to navigate it, although it does get a little wide there, but corrects itself almost immediately. I'll slow this video down for a second and you can see that the autopilot quickly gets back over once it realizes it's not centered in the lane. A few more easy curves here until we get to several more severe curves coming up. So right here I manually slow down the vehicle using the right scroll wheel but you can also do this via the touch screen as well. A good example here of path prediction, the car isn't able to see where the road's going to go but it is able to predict the road correctly even though it can't see the road. Two really difficult turns coming up right here, a right-hand turn and then a severe left-hand turn. I did have to disengage autopilot here. I think the turn was a little bit too sharp for the system to handle accurately. No issues with navigate on autopilot on the city street or passing over a railroad track which is something I've wondered about because lane lines are non-existent over a railroad track. Again, you can see the autopilot system using the path prediction technology to predict which direction the road is gonna go next. The autopilot's able to navigate this easy because of these slow speeds, but let's see how it performs when we speed it up a bit right here. The speed limit's gonna increase. Now when the speed does go up, these curves get a little less severe 
than you've seen in the first part of the video. The car is definitely able to navigate these less severe curves better, even though the speed has been increased. If you're unfamiliar with this road, as a human driver, this curve would be challenging because you can't see around the curve. So the path prediction does a great job predicting which direction the road is gonna go. A decline here with a slight bend to the right in the road, and the autopilot's able to navigate this with ease. If you guys wanna see the reverse direction on this same stretch of road, I'll put a link up here in the corner. If you're planning to buy or lease a new Tesla, use my referral code down in the description and get 5,000 miles of free supercharging. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.